now we come to stretching paper. Do you stretch paper? Well, I don't stretch paper usually. And uh, I can show you how to avoid having to stretch it. Let's just use the biggest brush you can use and get the job done, like I was saying easy earlier. I'm going to take this big old brush and just wet this. This isn't the best way to do it, but for this demonstration, we'll do it this way. Wet away, wet away, wet away. The way you can tell that your paper is wet enough, this is an old painting that we use for this demonstration. In fact, this was a value study, which we'll get into in some future lecture. The way you can tell that your paper is wet enough is to lift up an edge when you think it's wet enough and if it flops back down easy like that it's it's wet enough yeah, it's wet enough so then once you've got it nice and wet believe it or not you're going to dry it off some because it's too wet to paint on for the most part. So you just take your towel. It's an old towel I chopped up. I'm just going to throw it away anyways. And kind of dry off the glass and lay it back down. And you'll notice something right off. It sticks. I think they call that capillary, capillary action. It sticks, it's down there. And it's, you're not keeping it, it's going to stretch a little out on its own yet because it's wet. But the next thing I would do typically, say I was going to paint a sky in here, I'd take and dry this skyline with a, nothing I can't even have is some Kleenex or paper towels. And then, like in my last demonstration, I'd just take and we don't need this big old brush anymore. This isn't a full sheet. We'll just take and wet it some more because we want to for a wet in wet painting, which we are doing here in the sky part. We want to have a nice wet area for our paints to flow into. So we'll just re-wet this. And this area here should hold. It's dry enough now to where it should hold. Okay, say we want to oh, say we want to have a little sunset or sunrise or some something. We just so that in here like so. Nothing fancy, just oh see it's a little too. Okay, we'll go to our dirty water. Something I want to get in we'll get into a little later here. It's use of the sponge. Oh we don't need that red anymore. Drink of water here. Then say we wanted to have some nice little blue sky here, not too blue. Take a little blue and throw it in there like so. Like I did on the last one, dark at the top, light at the bottom. This is called wet into wet. You got a wet brush, you got a wet area, and you're throwing wet paint right down in there. Wet into wet. We'll take a darker blue. This is the French Ultramarine. We'll throw it in here. Nice and dark, nice and heavy. Just bleed it in there. And so, you don't have to cover up every little inch with heavy paint, but 
light at the bottom, dark at the top, and the secret, like I said in the last one, is once you've got your sky in there, stay the heck out of it. Don't go back in there. Once, once it starts to dry, all you're going to do is make a mess. You'll notice I'm cleaning up underneath the sky here so that we don't get any blooms. <laughs> 